Yeah, it looks like, I mean, influence, whether it was just that it was a team that wasn't really prepared or whatever, going forward, they could be one of those teams that's a dark horse. I know a lot of people have their favorites out there, whether it be Complexity, Farico, Optic, Envious, or even Unite, whatever it may be. Influence has to be a team that's at least going to spark some interest heading forward in the tournament, whether it's against playing another pro team or playing IDK right now. Yeah. Either way, they are a team you have to always remember that they do have established backgrounds. Yeah, without a doubt, they're all, like I said, great players. Uh, I see all of them as pro players. You know, SureShot's been around for a while, and he's definitely a great player, and I want to see what he's going to do at UMG this weekend. Yeah, SureShot coming up here last minute. I was actually worried that he wasn't going to be able to come. You saw him talking about how he couldn't get in a step, yeah. or get – excuse me, a full team to go out here with him, how he couldn't find anybody on that moment's notice. And it looks like we are going to kick it off here on Meltdown S&D, just waiting for them to start it. Meltdown S&D coming your way, Influence versus IDK, just waiting on whoever the host is to start the game, whether it's, I believe it's SureShot. And he's just checking with the other team right now, making sure they're ready. Yeah, and in this game, you know, with only five classes, um, you know, it was the same in MW3, but in MW3 it was only SMD and CTF, so you didn't have to worry about classes that much. And with the new Pick 10 system, there's a lot of different things you could do. So after every game type, teams take a lot of time to switch their classes. You know, going into a hard point and switching to SMD, there's a lot of new stuff in the game that you could implement into the gameplay that just helps you out, like in Search and Destroy, for example, Center Grenade, Smokes, uh, Thermal Sight, all that stuff. You know, it takes. It really gives you the edge on the other teams if you're using them and they're not. Destroy the Something I actually noticed is that Stingray 427A does actually have Hardline on, which is banned for the tournament. <laughs> so, I mean, you can't really say anything because it looks like Influence should be able to take this one based on the previous performance in Hardpoint. But, you know, the fact that you come into a tournament, you don't really know the rules. That doesn't really say a lot about your team and yeah, it puts well, you in a negative when, light. When you don't have a team name, you obviously, <laughs> you know, you just came here to have fun and that's what I think this team came here to do. You know, they're just out here having a fun time, you know. It's not always fun to get uh, demolished like that happened last map, but you know, they just want to play the game and you know, the hard line isn't really doing much so we're just going to let it slide and it looks like we're going to be on board with Fellow here. He's going to look towards uh, going for the flank here over on that B bomb site as I think it is a 2v2 situation right now. 1v2 situation for Fellow as he does pick up Zoe right there. He does get the two piece, that's a 1v2 for Fellow. They're gonna be taking the first round here on this um, meltdown search and destroy. I can't even remember the map yet. Uh, yeah. It's like so confusing to me. There's so <laughs> many maps that I have to play, I can't remember them. Meltdown S and D right there. Zoa goes down. I believe that was Switching Yums for the second one. Point. And Felonies rocked him. I mean, yeah. that was that was pretty rough. Destroy. You see Felonies right there giving influence the win, the one v two clutch. And why don't we switch over here to Sure Shot? See what he's able to do for influence. And he is going to be rushing over near that B bomb. It looks like Felonies and Pluto are with him. Pluto, or excuse me, Felonies, the bomb carrier. And moving back here, Felonies going to the right. Sure Shot going to the left, trying to look around with that MA Day one. Spots Yums as he jumps up top shuts him down and it looks like sure shot's just going to take the moment to reload save his time wait around and let everything fall into place you see one down 4v3 situation in favor of influence zoa rb nasty and stingray up and stingray takes out his teammate right there so not sure what happened saints with the headshot into stingray zoa catches pluto with a frag though so now it is a 3v1 situation i believe the last one up will be zoa in fact and now we see Sure Shot moving back around here. Zoa does clean up Saints. And now Sure Shot, very aware of the situation at hand, looking around. Spots Zoa, puts some shots into him. Will not secure the kill. Expecting him to go up top. Zoa actually did take out Sure Shot right there. So we are going to switch over here. See if Zoa is going to be able to get the clutch. Fakes the defuse, looking around here. And he is going to go for the defuse now. Not sure what's going to happen, except Felony jumps down, get ready for gets the, the easy round. knife. And it looks like he knew exactly where Zoa was. Yeah, and I actually just got some news. Someone just came in my ear. I didn't even know who it was. And uh, SureShot is actually playing his brother and his niece. His <laughs> brother and his niece are on the other team, IDK. And they're, you know, that's some brotherly love right there. You know, they're going to be talking crap to each other. Search and destroy. Game, just having some fun with each other. So I guess SureShot's brother came to support Neutralize SureShot. the objective. And he ended up getting a team together Charges to play. Acquired. It, got, it was funny that they got matched up first round. Yeah, I'm sure there will be a little bit of... 
uh, you know, I'm not even going to say that. I don't think there's going to be any bitter feelings. I think he knew yeah. coming in here against his brother. And yeah, her coming up here against her uncle, I believe he said that it was his niece. So they knew what was going to happen. And this may just be a pickup team and someone needed some players to come in here at the last second. Page 16 pass, you know how it goes. Yeah. Right there, you see Stingray with the silent scar taking out Felonies. Yeah, we got the bomb. And you got to think Felonies is going to be a little bit strong. salty after that one. Yeah, dying by a scar, you know, you don't really see that. And especially with the silencer, no one really uses a silencer in competitive play. You know, it can be beneficial to you, like, to get around the map without being noticed, but majority of the teams playing on the competitive level that we're at right now at Hold UMG, on, they're going to be calling you out regardless. So it's not like the silencer could do much for you. Time's almost up. Yeah, and I'm looking at the overhead map right here. You see Pluto just waiting around the corner. He sees someone trying to move into his line of sight. He sees the shots come out. Easy kill for Pluto. We're going to watch Get it here. Pluto taking round. out Zoa. Saw the shots fired from Zoa. An easy kill for Pluto as he's just sitting there holding up the corner, waiting around. And there it is. Zoa walks right in front of him. Easy kill. And that will be a 4-0 lead, I believe, for influence. I think three zero. Excuse me. Point. And so, the funny thing about uh, what you said, a fellow getting mad destroy. at the scar. Stingray is the niece, so he just got killed by <laughs> a chick with that scar. Defend the and, objective. You know, Definitely uh, fun to see a girl playing on the competitive level that they're at right now. And, you know, another girl that's noticed for playing is Dream Crazy. She's definitely a great gamer. I played against her a bunch of times, and without a doubt, I think she's one of the best girl gamers, you know. A lot of people are sex, uh, sexist towards, like, girls playing on the competitive level, but, you know, there's nothing really about it. It's the same thing. You're still pressing, um, pressing buttons with your fingers at the end of the day. So it's definitely cool to see it every now and then. Yeah, and right now we're looking at felonies. It looks like there are two members up from Influence, three members up for IDK. Zoe Yums and Arby Nasty. Right now, Felony's taking some shots, and he's going to retreat back, look around here, see what he's able to do. He does have that MA Day one out. Yums taking out Sure Shot, and now it's a 1v3 here for Felonies. You, you think he has it in him, Spacely? Um, I definitely fe think Fellow has it in him. You know, first round he clutched the 1v2. It's too close. Um, there's not that much of a big difference. Just take we it lost one at a time. But, but it's you not know, I jinxed yet. him right Prepare there. Yourself. Uh, Zoe was watching his back. Great play by him to realize uh, the map situation. As Fellow is the last one alive, he knew Fellow was going to try to make a play somewhere. And he definitely thought it was going to be the flank. So he made sure he watched it. Takes out Fellow there sides. with that FAL. And, you know, um... That's going to be Search a and destroy. lead for influence right now. And question for you, Paradox, what do you think about that fail? Eliminate the objectives. I mean, I've had a lot of people tell me what they think. Some people like it. Some people hate it. A lot of people think it's overpowered and needs to be banned or nerfed or at least have select fire nerf for yeah. it. I understand all the opinions, but I think that in this community we do like banning things very quickly. Uh, yeah. And what I've seen on LAN is I've seen every team using the FAL so far. I haven't seen a team that decides, oh, I'm you know, not going to use it to try to prove a point. So it looks like everybody's using it, so I think if you're one of the people using it and you're advocating against it, then maybe you shouldn't use it. But yeah, I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. I think it is extremely powerful, yeah, though, and I think it is a game changer. I told my team as soon as I saw everyone using it, like people, like every team started using it like last week. And I told Huddle and Bobby, because they run ARs for our team, I was like, use that FAO. I'm, like, if people want to play like that, we got to play like that. That's how Our you got to adapt prevailed. to the game, you know. Yeah, if ready for the guns next that are um, overpowered, you know, it's not to the extent where it needs to get banned. Like, I'd, I'd go on Twitter and get frustrated and tweet it like, it needs to be banned, it needs to be banned. But, you know, it's kind of an inconsistent gun when you think about it. Sometimes it's two At shots, time. sometimes it, like, takes five shots. But, you know, it's all preference Search for the AR player if you like it or not. Protect yeah, the I mean, I've seen a few guns, and especially with the recent the patch to the MA Day 1, people say it's a lot more accurate, but at the same time, that up close, I guess it doesn't do as much damage, or it can not do as much damage overall. I haven't taken that much interest into it because I have just never used the Fallon code. I've always stuck to the MA Day 1 whenever I'm playing just for fun. But what do you think about the MA Day 1? Do you think that the foul is clearly the gun you need to use for an AR, or do you think the MA Day 1 adds something that you really need on a team? The my MA and MA A1 and FAO comparison is it depends on what kind of slayer you are. If you're an aggressive slayer, you definitely gotta run that MA A1. You know, you need those bursts. Or if you want the automatic uh, weapon there, you know, definitely a lot beneficial for you if you're 
trying to rush, trying to get to the Our strength has prevailed. Uh, power position. Get ready for the team. next round. But if you're kind of that anchor player that just gets to the back of the mat, make sure you set up your team for good front. If you want to use that FAO because it's a very powerful AR, it is the most powerful AR in my eyes and a lot of people's eyes because a lot of people use Switching it. Switching operation ready right point. There, Sure shot, cleaning up that kill to take the five Search and destroy. on this last map. And for those of you that don't know, it Eliminate the objective. So we're definitely going to see acquired. if Influence can take this last round here and close it out on a 6-1 victory. I mean, it looks like what is going to happen here is that Influence should win. And I don't actually see anybody on the opposing team using a foul. It looks like the foul not really necessary. Influence doesn't search. need to bring it out at all. Yeah. But at the same time, we do see Yums take out Sure Shot right there. Moving back around here, all four members of IDK up. And it is up to Felonies again to try Good to job. clutch it. Get ready for the Zoa next round. takes him out. Five to two now in favor of Influence still. Even with that, I don't think we are going to see a comeback at this point, Spacely. I think it is too far gone The Influence knows. They just need to buy their time, take the round slow, and close it out right here. One round left. If they were Switching not sides. able to take this, I would be extremely surprised. Yeah, that would be a crazy Search comeback. and destroy. You know? um, Influence, all great veteran players. They're definitely going to look to close Defend this out. Defend the objective. Communicate with each other and make sure they're taking it serious. You know, I definitely think they're going to take this search right here. And... The way I see them taking it is they're going to go for a rush point. I see them planning it B as soon as they can and try to get that bomb down. And, it out. and I guess I was wrong. That it does look like they go to A. And Nasty gets a nice two-piece there over at that A-bomb, making sure he secures that A-bomb. Great play by Nasty as he is going to proceed to the uh, influence's base. And it does look like Good they're going to take get this Get ready for the round. next round. Bringing it back right now, only two rounds away from tying it up. And, you know, if they can take it one round at a time and keep their composure, you know, nothing's impossible. So we can see what they're going to do here. I'm starting to feel a little shocked Switching here that we do see this point. team coming back on yeah. influence. We did just see Pluto and go down. And now we're starting back on offense here. Destroy the objectives. And I'm going to switch over Bomb here acquired. to Zoa and go into the overhead map just to see the breakout, see what happens. And it looks like we actually have three from both influence and IDK over toward this B-bomb site. And there you see Zoa at the very end kind of tagging up behind everybody. One goes down, another one. And I'm actually going to switch over to Sure Shot here if I can in time. Taking out Stingray, and it looks like he believes there's one more. Takes some shots, turns around, but Saints has his back, and it is all up to Zoa now. Yeah, and I think that's uh, I think it's gonna be curtains for this game. It's a 1v4 situation. Um, they are on defense influence, so they're just gonna make sure they take their time. You know, time's on their side, and they're up in numbers, so I definitely see them closing out this round without any problem. And it looks like they are about to do that. Sure shot just waiting. I'm actually going to pull up the overhead one more time just to see what's happening. And they have this B side on lock right now. You see Sure shot sitting cool. back there. The a member of Influence right in the middle there, looking into the middle of the map. And I'm not sure who that is from Influence, but they did just call who, Zoa out. They're going to be chasing Zoa down. I'm going to switch over here to Pluto, and it looks like he will be able to get the last kill. Looks like I called that one. Six to three, Influence takes it. And there it is, they are gonna win two to zero in this best of three. But you did see IDK come back there at the end, making a very surprised last effort. Yeah, definitely a great search and destroy game type, you know. Um, a lot of comebacks with the six round. Uh, like Agents, mission game profile game has not been you know? achieved. It RTB that back for retasking. Black Ops 2 with six rounds, you know, it's not as fluky as it was with the four round uh, to win Search and Destroy. And, you know, that was a great game. Good job. Uh, shout out to Influence for taking that game 2 0. As they are going to go into the second round. And, like I said, definitely 